What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about palette and how this might be the perfect tool to integrate into your workflow for all of your photo and video needs. So let's get into it. What's happening guys? My name is Brandon from BeWellCreative.com and on this channel we talk all about photo and editing tutorials while diving into camera gear reviews, tricks, and tips. So if that's something that you might be interested in, consider hitting that subscribe button. So today we're going to be talking about this cool piece of gear called Palette, which is a modular device that you can use for photo editing. It connects into your computer and works flawlessly with all of the Adobe apps. So what this tool does for you is instead of actually having to go and click a slider, move the exposure slider, move the highlight slider, change the colors manually with the mouse. You can actually map all of that to this little tool right here. And so you can actually just move a slider up or down. You can turn a dial, press a button, and depending on what you have mapped each tool to, it'll do different things in different programs. And it's a really awesome tool to speed up your workflow just a little bit more. So enough yattering about this thing. Let's learn about how it actually works. Once you've put it onto your desktop, you can just go ahead and plug it in and it lights up, does its thing, and it will automatically connect to whatever app you are using. So in this case, you can see that I'm using Photoshop. Now the cool thing about how all of these modules are individual is that I can take off any of these sliders, buttons, or dials and rearrange them to however I want. And the best part is, is that it automatically updates in the app in real time. When you're switching between different apps, say for example Lightroom and Photoshop, the second you change over to that other program, Palette will instantly recognize that and will automatically switch over to your presets that you have set for that specific app. So over here in Lightroom, I have set up my screen so you guys can see what all of my buttons are mapped to and then what they're actually doing in Lightroom. So as you can see, I can just turn this dial and I can go through all of these photos. I also have one of my buttons set to toggle flag pick, so then that means I can just tap that button to add or remove a flag. Now whenever I find a photo that I'm ready to edit, I can just switch my profiles by pressing the next profile button that I have dedicated on my palette. And as you see, it'll change to a different preset and all of my buttons will be remapped to a new use. As you see, I just switched over to Lightroom Developed and now I can turn my dials to adjust my shadows, highlights, or exposure. And I can use my sliders to do quick adjustments of my white balance or my tint. So another cool thing that I can do in the palette app is actually remap any of my buttons or sliders to something that better suits my needs in a specific app. So in Lightroom, I love to look at my before and afters after I finish an edit just to double check sort of progress and whatever. So I can actually map one of my buttons on the palette to before and after. So if I just go into the palette app, I type in before and after into the search bar, I select before and after, and as you see, it maps to that button. Now when I tap that button in Lightroom, it automatically brings up the before and afters in Lightroom. Lightroom for me. The customization of all of these buttons is what I really love about Palette and how every user experience can be completely unique depending on how they work. So now we're over here in Photoshop and as you see in my Palette app I have my brush preset selected for my palette. This is what my configuration is set up like and depending on what dial I choose, depending on what slider I slide, that's going to do any of these specific adjustments. So now instead of having to go up here to change my opacity, instead of having to go up here to change my flow, instead of having to right click to rescale my brush size or use my bracket keys to scale my brush up and down, I can now just use a slider. So now if I just slide my slider left or right, as you see, a little dialog box comes up down below here telling me what size my brush is at, and I can bring it up or down just by moving around my slider. It doesn't get much cooler than that. Likewise, I can also do the same with my brush hardness. So now, as you see, my hardness is going up to about 100%, and I can do any number in between, just like that. I will honestly say I really love being able to just physically slide something up and down or turn something here and there to actually make an adjustment or make a change in Photoshop. It makes it feel a lot more hands-on and like you're really, really in it, I guess you could say. Another cool thing is I have this one of my buttons set to new layer, so I can literally just press that button and it automatically creates a new layer for me. I can do it as many times as I want and it'll just continue to make a new layer. So let's say I want to change this button from new layer and now I want it to be undo. So I'm going to do command alt and Z, which is just continuing to undo. So if I just go into my keyboard mode on my button preset here, I can just press clear, type in the letter Z, and now I can just go command alt and it will automatically 
set in that keyboard shortcut for me. So now going back into Photoshop, since we have just made all of these new layers here, let's say I want to undo all of them. I can just go ahead and I can tap that button over and over and over again, and it will continue to step back just by pressing that button. I don't have to do, I don't actually have to touch anything on the keyboard, which is super amazing. Now the shortcuts don't stop there. You can map this to literally anything from Photoshop actions to keyboard shortcuts to any of the recommended presets that they have in the palette app. So those are just a couple of the things that I really love using palette for in Photoshop. So who is this product exactly for? At a starting price of $200, it's a little bit steep for the average hobbyist that just wants to improve the workflow, but just for their personal photos and things like that. Who I do believe this product is for are people who are always working in Photoshop, always working in Premiere, always working in Lightroom, having to deal with say weddings, events, something like that, where they have hundreds or thousands of photos that they have to deal with. And Palette really makes quickly going through all of those images and making those quick adjustments a whole lot easier for the people who have to deal with all of those images. So that is it for my review on palette. I hope you learned a little bit about it and maybe it might be something that you could be interested in integrating into your own workflow. For those of you who might already own this product or are interested in learning how I like to use it personally, I've actually written a blog post over on bewillcreative.com sharing how I have mapped out all of the buttons and how I use it in my day-to-day -day workflows. If you enjoyed this video and learning a little bit more about palette, make sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing to stay up to date with all of my weekly tutorials and reviews. Other than that, once again, my name is Brendan from bewillcreative.com and I'll catch you next time.